Emily Wenzel with Body and Mind Enrichment. I'm a food extraordinaire and I'm going to show you a grilled tilapia recipe. I make this quick and fast and easy go-to recipe. Tilapia is a light white fish, so it'll get a little flaky. It doesn't take long to cook and I'm just going to lightly saute it. I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil. This is um, maybe a tablespoon or two, depending upon how much, how many tilapia fillets you're going to make of, of coconut oil and just word up the coconut oil on the cooler temperatures under 76 degrees is going to thicken. It's going to look like butter. So in the warmer temperatures, it's going to be more liquid such as this, but it's really great for your body and your skin inside and out. So I like to add it to some recipes. Plus it gives it a nice little flavor. I've chopped up some garlic, let it sit out for about 10 minutes and release some of those medicinal properties of the garlic and let that cook. So then from there, with the tilapia, what, what you might want to do is start with the, the top side on the bottom. So then when you go to flip it and then you add some of your special dressing items on there that you don't necessarily have to flip it again, but that's, that's okay if you need to flip it a couple times. So add your fillets either with tongs or a spatula and let it cook just for maybe three to four minutes. And then we'll flip it over, cook the other side as well. Before I flip it, I'm going to add just a little squeeze of lime. And then if necessary, I'm going to add a little bit more coconut oil, which I don't believe I need to at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and flip. Some of the garlic came with and some of it's going to stay underneath, but that's fine. Either way works. And then I'm just going to let it cook for maybe another few minutes. And the rest of the ingredients are the tomatoes, the parsley and the feta cheese. And then I like to add a little bit of spinach and arugula or whatever greens are handy and just let it soften and, and add the flavors also with the lime and the coconut oil. All right. I'm going to add a little bit more lime, just a little bit. Maybe even just a drizzle of the coconut oil. I don't need it to necessarily be too, too oily. And I don't t personally, I don't like the tomatoes to be totally cooked. So I just like them to be kind of freshly warm. And personally, I don't like the, the parsley to be warmly cooked either. So um, you can drizzle some feta cheese. I'll do one with and one without adding some of your healthy greens. And if you need to check the tilapia, you could also kind of stick a fork in it <laughs> and see if it flakes and then you'll know when it's nice and flaky, it'll be ready. And if you would like to add some pepper on there as well, now would be a good time. So I'm just going to let that steam just for a couple minutes and then add the parsley and then you've got a delicious meal. And this is a grilled tilapia recipe. I'm Emily Wenzel with bodyandmindenrichment.org.